Greetings. This is uh, Daily Meta for January 11th. Last time we ended on a very high note. I was uh, reading to you a section from the Cloud of Unknowing, 14th century mystical document that talked about the exalted dignity of the human being. I go on from there to say that this obsession with negativity that's crept into our culture and that we take for granted now has ironically made it hard for us to understand where the, our negativity comes from. You know, people keep saying we've got to pay attention to the dark side, but the way they pay attention to it, uh, they don't end up with coming to a solution for it. Uh, and I went on from there to discuss an episode that I feel even more strongly now than I did 15 years ago when I wrote Search, and that is the episode where I was crossing campus and students were holding up signs saying, let's fight back against Asian hate crimes. And I said, as long as we're focused on Asian hate crimes, we're not going to be able to solve them. So this is a special case of what I was talking about last time, the being always on the surface and not seeing the underlying dynamic. And I suggested there, we got to take at least three big steps from Asian hate crimes to hate crimes to hate. Where does hate come from? Well, if you go back to that quotation from the cloud of unknowing, there's an interesting principle that it talks about human dignity. It doesn't talk about the dignity of one group or another group, the nobles or Christians even. Um, and it turns out that our dignity is closely linked to our unity. And whenever there is a sense of disunity, our dignity is degraded even while we're trying to build it up at somebody else's expense. So it's an interesting fact that all the words for hate and fear in the Sanskrit language, which is a very old form of the language branch that uh, our English language comes from, come from the word to, because it ultimately goes back to that sense of separateness between one human being and another, between one human being and her or his environment and the planet. So let's think a little bit more about that theme. Think about connections that you may have seen between, uh, I guess most importantly, between the loss, the inflicting a loss of dignity on another and suffering a loss of dignity oneself. And we'll talk about that a little bit more next time. Meanwhile, once again, we are all invited to join the experiment.